Python uses objects to represent everything in your program, such as strings, integers, functions, lists, and more. And objects have three properties. There's the value, such as the integer 20, or the floating point number 20.5, or even a string literal like 20 spelled out, T-W-E-N-T-Y. And then there's the type, which is the object's type, such as an integer if it's a whole number, string if it's a text, or floating point if it's a number that has a decimal. And identity, which is the identifier name that describes the object. For example, name would represent a person's name, and that's the identifier name that describes the object. The Python interpreter creates and uses objects as needed to run your code. And when an object is no longer used, garbage collection deletes it from memory. Names are associated to objects via name binding. An object can have one or more names bound to it, and a name is bound to exactly one object. And in Python, there are no declarations. So you don't have to say that the variable age is an integer. You could just say age is assigned to 25 without specifying that it's an integer. The existence of a variable depends on a statement that binds the variable, or in other words, that sets a name to hold a reference to the, some object. And you can also unbind a variable by resetting the name so that it no longer holds a reference. Two useful functions that we're going to go over are the type function, which returns what type the object is. The type of the object determines if it's mutable, which means you can change it, or immutable, which means you can't change the value. And in Python, both strings and integers are mutable. This means that we could change the values of strings and integers. And there's also an ID function that we're going to demonstrate really soon, which gives the value of an object's identity. All right, so let's try these out in Python. In Python, let's create some variables car year is 2021, car model is Honda Accord. So car year is bound to the, va to the object value 2021 and car model is bound to the object value Honda Accord. And also if I was to say that car year is something like this year. Check that out. I'm completely changing the type from integer to, to string. And I can print out car year. Whoops. And it prints out just fine this year. And what happens there is this old object value 2021 gets garbage collected and cleaned up from memory. But let's not worry about that for now and let's just print out the value of car. So we'll say the value is car year is 2021. So also let's next print out the type. And if you remember to get the type with the type function, type of car year, let's see what type it is and it tells you that it's an integer class int and let's also print the ID of car year print ID using the ID function and it tells you that yep, this is the ID right there which is the value of an objects identity and let's do the same thing for car model and see what different output we get. Just copy and paste that in here. So for car model, we get the value is just Honda Accord. If we wrap that with the type function, we know that it's a string. STR stands for string. And here is the ID for car model.